Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, my name is Philip Howell. I'm the chief executive of Rathbone Brothers. And this is our third joint debate with The Spectator. So, to tonight's uh, debaters. Should the next president of the United States be Hillary Clinton or Donald Trump? Donald Trump is the dream, the apotheosis of the typecaster's vision of the ugly American. In fact, he is not a misogynist. He is a perfect equal opportunity employer, and his conversation personally is a good deal less coarse than Mrs. Clinton's. Half of his campaign is a self-authored attack video on himself, but that doesn't mean it's true. This is a contest between an unfeasible personality and a candidate carrying a great deal of ethical and legal baggage. This election is all about Donald Trump and his radical unfitness to be President of the United States. It would be a disaster for America and a disaster for the world if somebody like Trump were to be elected President. Modern day politicians tell two types of lies. The first is BS. Other lies are more serious. Hillary tells both kinds of lies. When Congress asked the FBI director, Louis Free, have you ever experienced anything like the FBI's experiences with the Clintons? Free said, actually I have, investigating organized crime in New York City. Thus, I am not the first to liken Hillary to a career criminal. We have a, someone in Hillary Clinton who has the experience and the understanding of foreign affairs and foreign diplomacy. She has met with leaders. She has met with Vladimir Putin. She knows what he's all about. Let's be open. The Clinton group decided from the start to delegitimize parts of the electorate as a sexist, racist, xenophobic, homophobic, and morally deformed. That's near 40 million people. The system is rigged, and if you want to change, vote for Trump. This isn't a reality TV show. This isn't The Apprentice, you're fired, okay? <laughs> Trump is an extinction event for the United States of America. Anybody who says that election is rigged threatens the republic. And the best thing that can actually happen is that this man is defeated on November the 8th, and then he can start Trump TV, which is what he really wants to do. Thank you. Who do you think is going to win? Well, you think Clinton's going to win? The polls say she's going to win. Anything can happen. Do the Trump side think Mr. Trump is going to win, Tacky? No. You don't? I don't. Okay. No, I don't. That's honest. Are you comfortable, Conrad Black, that you are supporting a candidate that boasted about sexual attacks on women? No. Of course not. The fact is, I ha have known him socially for a long time. He doesn't talk like that, no. and he doesn't act like that. Which candidate is most likely to start a war? By far, Hillary. Tr uh, Trump is more of an isolation. By far, Hillary. It'll have something to do with the Middle East. <laughs> <laughs> in a sense, I agree with Taki. I think she will take a tougher line in the Middle East, and that is, that is a risky course. It is not possible to imagine either candidate winning until you consider the alternative. I hope you've enjoyed the forensic examination of macroeconomic policy, <laughs> geopolitics, and all the rest of it. On the way in, you voted. 274 for Mrs. Clinton, 69 for Mr. Trump, 118 undecided. Having had the vote, you have now voted 308 for Mrs. Clinton, 111 for Donald Trump, and 52 are still undecided. If it was up to this hall, Hillary Rodham Clinton would be the next President of the United States. Please, a big round of applause for our great debaters.